We are done with that mission. Got at the Romulan flotilla, which is basically when I started with this character, which is an interesting thing. More or less, I started on a planet that is destroyed. Well, spoilers. Although this instance. is a dark day, you have served admirably. The loss of the archive is regrettable, but the preservers are not the only casualties this day. There will be more death before this war ends. But those of us who survive will be stronger. The Iconians think they can win this war. They think we are weak. They are wrong. We will fight, and if need be, we will die. But we will fight until our last breaths. Okay. The Admiral did an admirable, jo uh, admirable job. I find that funny uh, for some reason. Hmm. Uh, I was gonna say though that these uh, missions and television shows and stuff don't really. I think um, I think there, there there were some people a while back that said that video games desensitize you to death and stuff like that. But I think the the actual thing that is going on is that video games don't actually. Since don't actually um, present you with what death actually means. In a video game, death is a defeat state. In this particular guy's uh, rhetoric, uh, or whatever, in his... Uh, not his rhetoric, because that means something else. In his speech, um, he mentions a lot of death. But we don't really... We're not really confronted with the actual consequences, with, with, with what death means in this universe, with... What it means, like to 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 actually lose um, important people to you. What it means, like to lose people that you know. Uh, in video games and in shows, mostly the people that die are extras. Just someone who you've never met, you'll never meet, you have no idea who they are. And oftentimes you're just told, yeah, well, they died, you know, thousands of people died in Zimbabwe. Even in real life, are you really that struck by that realization? It's horrible. But thousands of people have died in Zimbabwe, let's say. It's, uh, it's just a thing that we're going to postulate here as a theory. Would that really hit you as hard as if I were to say thousands of people died in your hometown yesterday? People you might have known. Well, it's very different. And in video games, basically, the people who die are almost not people. So the death of not people bits, which we kind of consciously realize that they are bits, it's not that we're desensitized, it's just that it's not an actual death, it's not, that it isn't given the same weight, because it's not properly described, it's not properly weighted. I've read some books though, and this is where it all comes from, I've read the Malazan Book of the Fallen uh, series, and there are some very meaningful deaths in that uh, book series, specifically in the final few uh, books, and hello Hayden, I did notice you, welcome back! Hayden is my, the mod that I got at the end of my run for STO. So, Hayden, meet Matan, please don't ban each other, lololol. <clears throat> but uh, back to the point is, in the Manism Book of, of the Fallen, and the... specifically in the last few... Uh, in the last, second to last book, there are a few deaths that have really opened my eyes, like... That's, this is where the whole theory comes from. Not that we're desensitized by games, but we don't actually attribute the same weight to deaths in video games as we would to an actual death. But in, in that particular book, like there are some scenes where you are just confronted with the completely meaningless, pointless death of characters you have known and loved for several books now. For for hours upon hours of reading this this stuff, and they suddenly die for no reason because they got unlucky and they're dead. 
and then they kill them, <clears throat> they kill a lot of them, because it's a war, and it's horrible, it's fucking heart-wrenching, it's, it's, it's disgusting, but games don't do that sort of stuff, because of the way the medium is composed, so it's not that we're desensitized, my theory is that they just aren't properly outlined. Okay, and with that aside aside, we're gonna pick our reward here and we're gonna call it a mission. Um, let's see, so this, these, these are a set, one, two. Uh, you can pick one of these two and this other thing. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick the console maybe, or the beamer they... I'm just gonna pick the console so you can see the set reward as well. Okay. Splattered. Uh, I don't think that means what you think it means. But it might mean something different. Resonance. Training manuals. Let's actually open this up. Delta Flight is gonna be the next mission, I guess. Let's open this up. Uh, we have destabilizing resonance beam 1, 2, and 3. Uh, what do these do? Oh, and let's uh, adequately say hello to Hayden. Hello, Hayden. How are you? Long time no see, pal. Should have stopped by more often. When well, actually I didn't stream much. So, <laughs> uh, if a main cast member, uh, cast character died, then people w care, whereas if it is some red shirt on the original series, then nobody cares because the character is undeveloped. Yeah, basically that's the idea. But even so, even if, if, if a, r a random red shirt dies, but they usually die, you know, they zap him, he disintegrates. Don't they actually get to spend too much time around a dead person, so maybe if you, for example, if you zap the red shirt and then you take him back to the ship and then you spend an entire episode or even half an episode or a quarter of an episode just having an officer have to deal with the fact that one of their crewmates died. Just have the red shirt go take him to sick bay. And then his friends would come in and they would cry over the body or they would try to stay brave while they talk to each other or the officer and the officer tells them how they died and that would still be awful. As soon as you realize it's an actual person, as, t as soon as it becomes an actual person, not a throwaway character, a throwaway character, not... That's the difference. Then it is horrible, and we are capable, as gamers, to realize that. Um... <laughs> Aiden says, oh shit, I forgot I had a fleet, oh god, I haven't played in months. Neither have I, actually. Uh, Matan says, I wouldn't say video games are desensitizing, at least for me, I agree. Uh, I will happily geek out about guns and video games, but real guns can make me quite uncomfortable. Yeah, I do agree. That's, that's, I agree very much. The difference between fiction and reality is quite large, after all. Indeed, in fiction, actually, these things that I'm talking about, the characterization of the effects of the death of the person that has died and of the death itself, that are not adequately done in a video game. In real life, they're pretty much always done if you're anywhere around that person. Anywhere around that person. Hmm. Sometimes I, I remember there, there was this, this, um, this uh, old guy why am I crying on stream? Uh, there was this old guy uh, that I didn't really ever know that much. He was uh, the husband of my mom's friend, but every once in a while I would go out to town and he... I would meet him. I, I, don't, I don't think this happened more than twice. And I would meet him and we'd exchange a couple of words and he'd tell me a funny joke. And I miss him, but he's dead. So, yeah, even that much characterization. But the medium, the medium of video games, does not allow that kind of connection to exist, to develop in any way. Right. Um, and yes, 
there is quite a big difference between fiction and real life. I don't actually like to fight people in real life. But in, in video games, I murder thousands, I murder millions, I'm worse than Hitler in video games. <laughs> well, um... Hayden says, when a character is developed, it creates a much more in-depth feeling for the character. Yep, yep, yep. You realize what the death actually means. Otherwise, it's just a word. It's just a word. To... Yeah. Usually, it's, uh, it's used to give weight to something, but um, it fails spectacularly because the death itself is not given weight. So if you use death to give weight to something, but the death is not given weight, then there is no weight. <laughs> eh. Right, uh, we are looking at the manuals. And um, destabilizing resonance B. 